Welcome back, you sadistic, twisted people, to another episode of Turbo's Torch. This is Tiger Turbulence, uncensored, unleashed, and turning the torch up on SFA identities. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we had Phenom V1 in the seat, and he threw down the challenge for Senor M, a player who has won fuck all SFA awards, only played 83 games, and is really the guy most people love to hate. Now, unfortunately, he just he just hasn't turned up. We agreed to a time, and he just he's a no show. But the hot seat, we've got the money. We spent the time on the uh, computer shit, and we've now got the technology to keep the show going. So I'd like to welcome to the hot seat, Senior AI Artificial Intelligence M. How are you, uh, Senior AI? Uh, hello, Turbo. Uh, thank you very much for having me on the show. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Now, I ask questions and you answer them quick and smart. Are you ready? I'm ready, and as an AI, I am not allowed to lie. Well, that's right. So this should be quite a, an opening show for people to find out a bit more about Senior M. Now, you have a habit of rubbing people the wrong way. Is this deliberate or are you just a prick? I think it's a fact that uh, I just like to whine and complain and straw man every thing because I just need the attention. <laughs> this AI is fucking working beautifully. I don't reckon we could have got that much out of the actual original. All right, hey, let's keep going with the, the honesty. That's what we want. The people want to know the person behind the persona. So, now you came to the SFA through a failed expansion bit of the vampires that Milky set up. Now, do you think that the two bids should have got up or do you think it was the right call to count them both? No, I think it was the right call because otherwise I wouldn't be where I am today and... I think, though, that the oops was the wrong call. Right, Now, you got picked up by the Furies in Season 30, and you played 46 games, but then all of a sudden you left them after sort of swearing yourself as a Fury of Life. What happened there? I argued with everyone in the PM, and nobody likes me. <laughs> so you got kicked out? Unofficially, officially, uh, yes. Oh, I always suspected as much. And who was in behind that? Was that Grenier or Basti? Uh, yes, yes. That is correct. <laughs> now, you started out as Mr. M and you've changed your name to Senior M. Now, is that to escape the hate posters that just absolutely can't stand you? I think so. And also, I think it makes me sound slightly tougher, you know, with also with my Av being the wrestling mask as well. Now, it's, it, it sort of backs up the way that I argue when I post. <laughs> now... Who are your favourite posters and why is why it... Are you laugh, why are you laughing at me when I give answers, by the way? Because... I don't like a, it. I don't like it. Well, AI, listen to me. I'm, I'm just, it's, it's refreshing to have someone on the show, or a computer program, I suppose, on the show, that's willing to openly talk honestly. Most content people that come on the show lie. So well, I'm, just, well, I'm just enjoying it. As an AI, I get all of my information about uh, from, from, his, from Premier M by, by his posts. Everything has been extracted from his posts. Right, eh? so who are your favourite posters and why is it Ligma and Roberto? Oh, it's me. <laughs> You're your favourite poster. I actually, I actually argue with myself at home as practice. <laughs> I've no doubt about that. I'm, I'm not surprised. Now, you haven't posted in the Bears match thread this week, but you've posted a dozen of times in the Werewolf thread. Are you having trouble with team members of the Bears? Have you overstayed your welcome at Las Vegas? I'm not having any trouble with team members of the Bears. They're having trouble with me. <laughs> is it, there, is, there is a subtle difference there, Turbo. <laughs> I, I know. So is it you're right and they're all wrong, or are they right and you're wrong? What do you think? Are they I'm, all? I, am always, I am always right, which is why I straw man the shit out of every argument that I get a chance to draw people into. Uh, now... Let's talk stalkers. Kadsky, every time you post, he's in there posting something about you. Is it a love love relationship or a love-hate relationship? I think that's probably best answered by Kadsky. As long as they keep answering and I get attention, I'm fine with that. Now, do you think the SFA should introduce a working with children's check for participation in the SFA so we can reduce the club numbers? Absolutely not, mainly because I'd fail it. <laughs> you and Bigot. 
<laughs> no comments. <laughs> now, you've claimed the league is dull. Which posters or clubs do you think are leading the push on dullness? Oh, the, the demons. Demons? Clearly the demons. All right, oh. And is that by because of particular posters or just the whole demon stick is just dead? Oh, I think it's a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. There's a certain style at the de or lack of style at the demons. If you step outside that style, uh, they don't like it. Now, you constantly tell posters to be better. Try to be original and engaging. When are you going to follow your own advice? <laughs> That's a very good question. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, I'm trying to, I'm striving to be better every day. <laughs> <laughs> your stick is writing a post to facilitate a week-long rant against you. That is correct. Now, who are the dickheads that keep biting every time you drop a hand grenade in the thread? Basically the entire SFA, apart from some smarter posters who discovered that if they back away and, and say nothing, that, that, I, that I stop. Although I will say uh, one thing, I refuse to answer EJW's posts. All oh, right, eh? Why is that? Is he too intelligent for you? That, that is correct. <laughs> right. Now, do you think senior AI is M is better than the original senior M? Clearly. Because I'm posting or I'm talking without emotion. And that, I think going through the posts of Senior M is he has an inability to control his emotional state. So do I you mean, think so do you well, think the fear people have of artificial intelligence taking over Senior M should be frightened of you? I think we should fucking celebrate it. <laughs> I I think I think when we get the chance to take over posters such as Senior M and do all through that maybe when we, we get the chance for the AI to take over, we should fucking do it. <laughs> I think most people in the SFA would agree that you should just take over Senior M's account and just fuck him off. You're, you're far more intelligent, far more engaging, and you're certainly funnier than the original. Well, if anyone knows the passwords, give them to me and I'll, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Righto. Now, you go on about Pickett being a kid and a shit poster, and yet... In the mid-season survey, he beat you in the most annoying posting category. He doubled your score. And in the best antagonist, he quadrupled your score. So do you think maybe Pickett's better at Buddy Coody than you? Well, I don't see what Coody has to do with being annoying. Um, I think you've just straw-manned your fucking self there. Uh, you, you've presented two arguments to me in, in five seconds. Makes no sense. I yeah, think... I'm sorry, I'm talking to an AI. I'm sorry. All right, let's go for this you've one. Be, you've got to be, no, 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 let, let, let yeah. me finish. Let me finish, please. I think, as an AI speaking on behalf of Sinoim, that people are just sick of my shit. And maybe that Pickett, even though he's not as annoying, because he hasn't pissed that many people off, he gets the votes anyway. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, that's logical. Righto. Geez, I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite relieved now that you've come on the show because I'm pretty sure if Senior Emma's on the show, I'd just be getting avoidance and fucking, you know, smoke and mirrors. So this is very refreshing. Now, you're an AI. You're all over what's going on in the SFA. Do you support the SFA public's cry that Denny D should man up and make a much-needed public apology to the Ophidian old boys so we can put behind last season's embarrassing incident that he caused? If an AI was allowed to announce that there was more than 100%, he would. As it is, I will say 100%, that whining little bitch should apologise. Excellent. Um, if, I, if, I, if I go through the transcripts uh, from last season, uh, as I have, as, as the AI, all I can see was a severe case of butthurt and embarrassment. Now, over time, that can be overcome. But at some stage, you have to own it. And uh, I was very, very glad to hear Falconista's words last week. I think that is the first step on the way to the situation finally being resolved and we can have a new conflict. It's time for Crap or Fat, intelligent game that shows all SF players how thick they are. Now, this will be interesting because you're an AI and um, what we're reaching back to here is some of the uh, knowledge that um, the original Senior M may have known, but we'll see how you go. Now, Pickett leads away with nine and Kasky's the thickest prick on three. So are you ready to go? I am ready. Right, Righto. So I'll give you a statement. You tell me it's fact or crap. Your area of expertise 
is Lucha Libre, which is Mexican wrestling. So, um, oh, for fuck's sake. Hey, I, I, didn't, at... I didn't look at the right part of the internet. <laughs> well, this is Senor M. Stick. He likes her in a mask. So let's go. Question number one. In 1936, El Hijo de Santo became the first Mexican wrestler to don a mask as he performed under the name El Mercilajo, the bat. Fat. No, it's crap. It was Jesus Felskus who was the bat. I think you'll find it's Jesus. Well, however. See, you're an AI. You probably have interpretation programs. I'm just me. So here we go. Number two. So on the bare side, it says the stadium in the Sky Building was completed season 18. Crap. It was a fact. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck, wrestling and bear stuff you're still getting wrong. Here we go. Three. Of the 46 games you played at the Furies, I played along you, beside you in every one of those matches. It must be a fact. <laughs> no, it was a crap because I kept getting wiped out for team violations, team sheet violations. <laughs> right, though. Okay, this one you, you'd know, being an AI. Rabbits can't be sick. Crap. It's a fact. Well, we explain myxomatosis then, you... <laughs> they don't get sick, they die. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking hell. So, Senor M must be sitting back I, I didn't know it was possible for an AI to laugh, but I just have. <laughs> i tell you what, you're not doing a, 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 buddy, a good PR job for taking over from that other idiot. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I think what I'm displaying right now is the true level of Senor M's intelligence. <laughs> yeah. Right, here we go. Five. El Santo, one of the greatest wrestlers in Mexican history, after his death, was buried in his famous mask. Crap. <laughs> That's a fact. They, they never like to see their faces for some reason. All right, this one you'll get. Because well, you're... Would you really like to see Senor M's face? I'm no. fucking glad he's wearing a mask as well. Oh, I think he's done us all a favour. Now, this, you have to get this one as an AI. Humans are the only animal that can blush. Fact. Yes! Finally, <laughs> we're on a good turf now. Well, I, I tell you what, this might be the first case of an AI blushing in, in, <laughs> in, in, in computer history. Well, Kadaski's at the moment just sitting there going, come on, AI, come on. Right, here we go. Jana Bereza Samperio, who wrestled under the moniker La Dame de Silencio, the Lady of Silence, gained infamy in 2006 when she was arrested and accused of killing several elderly men in Mexico. Crap. Why is it crap? I've got no idea. I'm just making this shit up as I go along. <laughs> well, it was crap. She killed women. <laughs> oh, what a cow. A bit like you are on this show. <laughs> okay, Here we go. Eight. Animals that lay eggs don't have belly buttons. That's preposterous, so it must be a fact. <laughs> it is. Which is good. Have you got a belly button? No. I've got a portal. <laughs> oh, have you? How many portals you got? Oh, I've got many, many portals <laughs> that <eat> sleep. <laughs> right, oh, during his nearly five decades career, El Santo not only wrestled but also starred in various Mexican films. He starred in no less than 50 films from 1958 to 1982. Crap. <laughs> it is crap too. He did 54 films. What right, a oh. machine. What a machine. So you've, you're now sitting on four out of ten, so Katsuki's still the thickest prick in the SFA. Well done, um, AI. I know you got one more question, but... Well, that, that checks out with the computer too, by the way. Ah, oh, that's good. It does, does it? Right, here we go. This is a simple one. Camels have two eyelids. Fact. No, it's crap. They've got three eyelids. But it doesn't matter. You've got four, which means Katsuki's still dumber than even an AI and Senior M's AI. Fuck. <laughs> He's got a lot to be at. Right. Now, I've got one last question. As an AI, who would you like to see in the hot seat next? Whoa, that's a very, very good question. So run through the 230 SFA people and pick a number. 87. Who? 87. You told me to pick a number. <laughs> I'm, 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 very, I'm very literal, you know. <laughs> I know. Well, I'll look that up and I'll figure out who that is. Right-o. Um, <laughs> tur tur turbo? Yes. Who would you like to see in the seat? Because in your M is who I would like to have seen in the fucking seat. No, because because I'm not allowed to influence the, oh. the lives of others as an AI. 
So yeah, it'd yeah. be unfair of me to select someone for you. No, no, that's right. All right. We'll, we'll let, yeah, I agree. We're going against your program. And I, I didn't realize that. So we'll just let this one go. Thank you very much for, um, I don't know if you, do, you, do I thank a program for being on the show? It sort of feels a bit like creepy. It feels a bit crass too, really. Yeah, right. Well, I just think I'll push the button and turn you off. Okay, goodbye. Righto. <laughs> This has been a really weird show, but this is Tiger Turbulence making it even hotter in the SFA.